before I go to uh, Deputy Loman to talk about the services provided, I want to speak to the very important issue here. I've read editorial comments that said, this is taxing people who are opposed to Measure N. Why tax? I'll give you two responses. One, given the economic downturn, at a global level, our economy is teetering on the brink of disaster. Everyone in this room knows that. At the national level, we're tinker teetering on the brink of disaster. Everyone knows that. At the state level, we're trying to borrow billions of dollars to just meet payroll. And we just here in Oakland went through a painful exercise of closing a $42 million deficit. So if we're going to do this, we're going to have to, we're going to have to put up some resources. Now, question, is this a deal breaker? I did the math. For a single family residence, and that's the highest rate, it gets lower when you're talking about um, rental, rental housing, non-residential housing, and we also have an exemption for low-income families. But with respect to single-family residents, which is the highest rate, year 09 to 10, that's $113.42 per year. That breaks down to $9.45 a month and 31 cents a day. In my humble opinion, that is not breaking the bank. 31 cents a day. Now, in 2010-2011, it goes up to $184.87. That breaks down to $15.46 per month and a staggering figure of 50 cents per day. In my humble opinion, that is not a deal breaker. Now, in 2011, 12, and forward, it rises to $275.56. That's $23 per month and 75 cents a day. What price safety when we're trying to embrace a comprehensive strategy to deal with public safety, a fundamental uh, aspect of the quality of life in any uh, civilized society and civilized community. So the argument that in some way, even in these adverse economic times, that some sort of way, this is an extraordinary burden, 31 cents a day, 50 cents a day, eventually rising to 75 cents a day, and I'm assuming by the time it gets to 75% that our $700 billion uh, relief package and several other things will have stepped in and our economy will begin to, to, to rise forward. So I don't think that that's a significant argument to, because I don't think you can argue both sides of the fence. You can't say on the one hand, we need public safety, we need more police, but the problem is this is a financial deal breaker. I just broke the numbers down to you. It gets even smaller going forward. Now, with that, I would like to now turn to Deputy Chief Lohman to, to, to speak with you uh, objectively about, from a professional standpoint, from the viewpoint of the police department, what Measure NN actually would provide to the residents of Oakland, and then I'll come back. In answer to your question about what it would do, what would, what would it allow the Oakland Police Department to do? It would allow us to uh, greatly expand the number of investigations that we currently undertake in the Criminal Investigation Division and the Youth and Family Services Division. Those divisions investigate homicides, robberies, assaults, sexual assaults, domestic violence. Uh, it would increase the number of investigators who are assigned to the homicide section, increase the number of investigators assigned to robbery that would increase the number of investigations we could assign uh, in investigations for, as, for a robbery, as well as the assaults. Uh, the property crimes, identity theft, identity fraud, uh, auto theft. 
Um, the other thing that it would do is greatly enhance our ability to follow up on cold cases, both for homicides and sexual assaults, and DNA cases in which we have a, a, a backlog of those cases. So certainly that would enhance that as well. The other things that would allow us to do is increase the number of truant officers, uh, school resource officers, as well as our gang units, our gang enforcement units, so that we could target some of our youth and make sure that we have an opportunity to intercede and prevent them from being engaged in that, those type of activities. Uh, and then finally, with our traffic, we would able, we'd be able to uh, assign additional officers to traffic enforcement so that we could engage in more uh, problem solving you know, projects throughout our community to, to, that go hand in hand with our community policing efforts. And so those are, those are some of the areas that the officers would be able to be assigned to do. Now with the addition of the police service technicians that are also in the bill, what it would allow us to do is relieve some of the sworn police officers of the duties that they're currently engaged in, such as taking some cold reports where there's no suspect identification, um, and allow them to take those reports, uh, do things like take traffic collisions when there's no injuries involved, uh, take photographs at crime scenes, lift fingerprints at crime scenes, collect some types of, of evidence at scenes, stand by on an insecure business or home for a board up. Those are currently some of the duties that our police officers perform. So certainly we'll want to make the most efficient use of sworn police officers. And then certainly some of the other things they can do is work traffic control posts as well as direct traffic during parades. Measure NN calls for uh, creating a, a database euphemistically referred to as ComStat. Tell us what that would do and how that would be beneficial. One of the huge things uh, that would be beneficial to the police department would be to have some monies that allow us to purchase uh, what is commonly referred to as uh, computer statistics reports that were uh, initiated in New York by Chief Bratton and, and Jack Maple, the late Jack Maple, uh, that allow for real-time information and data being passed on uh, to the area commanders, which we're in geographical accountability now. So each captain has an area of the city they're responsible for. So giving uh, those area commanders real-time data and information about crime that is occurring, crime trends and series that are occurring, as well as providing that real-time data information uh, that would be available in some form or fashion to the public, as well as our investigative units. And what that does is allow us to filter information through our investigations units out to our field officers so that they have an understanding. Uh, the men and women that are working the streets know what's going on in their particular areas, what, what took place just prior to their arrival on their shifts, and have an opportunity to respond to things that are going on and basically help predict some of the things that should occur based on current statistics and crime trends that we're seeing based on this information. We presently have the largest police force that we've had in 20 years. We're now in the neighborhood of 770, give or take. One argument is that you already have a large number, uh, larger number of police than you had in the past. Your point is that even though we're at 770 and we'll get to 803, that this additional will A, allow us to, to maintain 803, but do all these other additional things that we presently don't have the resources to do. That is correct. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'll make one uh, a couple of final things. There's another aspect of NN which deals with the issue of transparency and accountability. And for those of you who, who read the, uh, the legislation, it calls for an annual audit so that there would be accountability and transparency and that that, and that would be done on a, on a regular basis and that that information would come back to the, to the uh, mayor and the city council uh, on an annual basis so that there would be significant accountability and evaluation built into this process so that uh, the voters of Oakland and the residents of Oakland could feel comfortable that there is transparency and there is accountability. With those opening remarks, I'm, I'm open, we're open for questions. Well, well, Mayor, you were talking about the transparency. Are you saying then that there is no chance at all that any of these funds would go for anything else aside from hiring additional police officers and technicians. That's absolutely correct, unequivocally correct. 